Is this your first time in Istanbul? No, I, but okay, I, I guess I, I thought we, uh, you were uh, just uh, giving the mic. Tamam. Is this your first time in Istanbul? No, it's uh, our second time and uh, last time we were, we were playing in a small club uh, just uh, nearby, uh, the Babylon. And uh, it's, it's our second time, so uh, here uh, in the Babylon it was an amazing night and uh, we, have, we had a lot of fun, yeah. And what did you expect from Istanbul and what did you get? Oh, uh, we know that it's, it's a really lively city, a lot of people. And uh, when we arrived it, um, in Istanbul, we were uh, amazed by the, the, the like the yeah yeah the the busyness of the city, and it was uh, well. I we really like Istanbul. We, can, we were in the plane. Oh, we can't wait to, uh, to to go to Istanbul, and uh, yeah yeah, it's, uh, we liked it. Yeah. I'll ask this question to you. What do you want to eat in Istanbul? <laughs> oh uh, well. <laughs> Both times uh, we came, we went to traditional uh, Turkish restaurant and we we had all the traditional Turkish food and we really really like it. So all the the, the keftas, the kebabs, uh, and all the little entries with uh, eggplants and uh, uh, we, we like it all. We really uh, really like eating first of all and uh, eating good food. Uh, good food that's exotic for us uh, it's it's really uh, uh, a good part of uh, our work <laughs> okay what is music for you oh that's not a simple question um, you mean like you want a what a definition or oh well it's uh, it's, it's not a simple question but it, it's mean it means uh, uh, what what we're doing uh, to to have uh, people uh, in front of us liking what we're doing and uh, to be able to uh, uh, to uh, um, let's say uh, uh, express uh, express some uh, uh, feelings and uh, uh, render the the, the 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 version we worked on uh, as well as possible. Okay. <laughs> And what is bad and good music for you? <laughs> it's, it's very subjective, but I, I think... Sorry, let's try again. I think, okay, you're going to ask the question again, right? What is good and bad, bad music for you? Well, good music, I think you just kind of get lost in it. It's something you can't really explain. It's a, it just sort of takes you over. It could be mentally, it could be physically. It just just captures you and uh, it kind of lifts you off the ground. That 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 for me is good music. I love uh, modern like today. Uh, an artist that does that for me is Jamira Kwai. I love J.K. I like it. I love that band. I think they're they just groove. And there's a lot of, tons of great artists out there, but uh, it, it depends. Uh, and bad music, it's. Uh, <laughs> It's a it's a hard question to answer, but it's something that uh, I don't know. When I hear bad music, it kind of makes me feel like I'm dizzy, or if I've been in a shopping center too long, or uh, it just makes me feel very awkward. And and there, I, I don't really want to say names and stuff, but uh, bad music, uh, it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, and it's 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 uh, maybe uh, things that uh, if you use a lot of cliches in your music and things like that, and. Uh, you know, cheap, cheap sound or cheap production and stuff. But I mean, uh, bad music. I think it's just relative to your taste. You know, because there's a lot of people. Some people <laughs> just love a band and like uh, we uh, we like all so many different artists. But what do you listen to these days? What do I listen to these days? Oh, it's it's. Uh, I listen to a lot of le electronic music and stuff, and uh, I listen to a lot of uh, funky. I love my old funk. Uh, like the Meters and James Brown and stuff like that in Parliament and uh, anything that's funky I really, really, really like. And, uh, you know, electronic music, uh, it's the music of the future. It's usually new technology and stuff like that. And uh, I listen to, like, uh, these days, Booster, which is a cool group from France. I like a lot of French electronic music, Daft Punk. It's, like, some of my idols. And, yeah. And what are your future projects? Future project? Oh boy, uh, with the last singers or with? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, for the next year, uh, it's like traveling and uh, yeah, uh, playing in uh, 
in many countries like Lithuania, uh, uh, Ukraine, uh, well, France too. So we got a couple of months uh, like touring uh, and doing shows. And we have uh, also albums, project, like we're, uh, we're on a, a French album right now that, that's going to be launched in, uh, in Quebec. And uh, we are, we are uh, well, we are, we're working on the English album that we are with a, like Kiss, uh, Motley Crue, uh, Metallica. With well, it's rock, rock music. So rock music and uh, gypsy jazz. <laughs> Next question for you: What is your favorite album of all time? Oh boy, I don't. <laughs> I don't get hard questions. Yeah, hard questions. <laughs> Um, well, there are many albums, like, you, you'd have to give me a style, at least. General. General. Favorite. Well, since we're doing Gypsy Jazz, well, uh, maybe I'd pick a jazz album. Uh, but I like uh, Mingus uh, Aum, by, uh, by uh, Mingus, so uh, that's, uh, that's an album I really like. What are your long-time goals? Long-time goals? Well, I'd like to see uh, 14 million people at a show, all of Turkey, lined up on the <laughs> who <laughs> lined up uh, along the shore. No, I'm joking. Uh, but I, I'd like to see a li like uh, like world success for the band and stuff. And then it's already starting. And uh, by brick by brick, we're we're really building a reputation, and uh, we're charming people in different countries. And it's cool to I think. Like a long-term goals is to, to see as many countries as we possibly can with the project. I think it's uh, it's it's very interesting. It's culturally, I think we're bringing something to the table where uh, you know people are discovering a kind of music because of us that has been kind of lost and or is that is played in cafes and that very it's like a very underground form of jazz where we kind of twisted it and uh, brought it into the mainstream. And uh, I think uh, you know it's. I think we're doing something very culturally important in that sense, and at the same time, we're making people happy and smile that don't really listen to jazz but can get our project uh, and what we're doing because of that connection uh, with pop uh, culture. Yes. Thank you. We're finished. That's Thank it. you.